What's up, losers, and welcome back to another Every Freaking Wednesday. Anyways, if this is your first time here, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you are wondering, where is Eddie? Okay, we see Nelly. Where's Eddie? He's MIA. He couldn't be here. But that's okay. We have a filler. Say hi, Franks. <laughs> All right, good boy. All right, settle down, settle down, settle down. Anyways, I know you're wondering, what is this week's video? Let's just get right into it. Okay, so this week, very special week, birthday week for me. How will I be? That's right, kids. 20 freaking nine. And I must say, I'm kind of excited about it, you know? I get my JoJo shirt. I, I got my dog. 29 is great. I, I I can't wait. Last day being 28. Glad to share it with you people. So, in the spirit of birthdays and in the spirit of being corny, you guys know I love a nice corny dumbass moment. I found a corny dumbass quiz, birthday quiz online, and I thought, hey. No one wants to do this with you. So let's do it anyway, okay? Let's just hop right into it. Look, 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 okay, so the quiz is called, if you wanna do it, I don't know why you would, but whatever, you're watching this. So I'm guessing you have a lot of time on your hands. So uh, the quiz is called, also I'll link it down below. All right, so the quiz is called, want to know what does my birthday mean? Wow, that's an odd title. Um, It's 10 questions. So let's, okay, let's, let's see what this, this is all about. It says, have you ever wondered what your birthday means? No, not your horoscope, but depending on your birth month, you have received certain personality traits. What are you waiting for? Take the quiz and find out now. Okay, I'm getting on my own nerves. What month were you born in? I was born in March. Where are you right now? I'm at home. Choose a color. It definitely doesn't have to be your favorite color. Just pick one. Okay, so let's see. Oh dear. All right, I'm gonna go with yellow or red. Describe yourself. Okay, let's see, how would I describe myself? Um, It's kind of hard because I am protective and of course faithful. But also creative. I mean, what would you say, Franks? Let's go creative. Let's go creative, okay? Since, I mean, in the spirit of women, I mean, we're doing YouTube, we're doing content. So in this moment, I'm feeling creative. So let's do creative. All right, choose a picture. Okay, um, I think I have to go with the Christmas tree. Who would you rather marry? Is this an inappropriate to answer? Because I'm already married? Like, is that? No, Franks? Okay. I'm going to have to go with... I'm sorry, Channing Tatum. Which would you rather be doing right now? Dancing, dancing for sure, darling, dancing. Choose your favorite piece of art. I think I'm gonna have to go with circles. These questions are weird. Okay, almost done, guys, almost done. Are my answers shocking you yet? How well do you know me? We've been doing this for a while. You all should know me. You should know what I'm gonna pick before I even pick it. Watch my videos. What's your favorite season? Oh, easy, summer. Summer, like. Last question. Fill in the blank. <clears throat> blank. I am most afraid of. Oh, let's, oh, these are all so depressing. I, 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 don't, I don't have to go failure, failure. Don't let the fear stop you, but I, I don't think that's the one I'm most afraid of, I guess. Hurt was a close second. Oh, okay, okay, so the results are in. Drum roll. I got talented, smart, and creative. You were born in September, October, making you incredibly smart, talented, and creative. There isn't much you can't do. Okay. Okay, considering the fact they asked me what month I was born in, and they still got it wrong. Guys, don't. Uh, what a total, they were way off. Wow, guys, um, I, I think I'm, I'm gonna write a letter. I'm gonna write a letter. That was a total bust, w whatever. Anyways, we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna act like it didn't happen. I do wanna address 
a couple of things if I can since we're here. Um, we're un irrelevant to my birthday. Um, if you're watching this on my birthday, my birthday is March 5th, so I don't know when you people are gonna watch it, but my birthday is March 5th. Blah, blah, blah. blah. So what I wanted to say, I, I wasn't gonna speak on this, but I was just wanna say, okay, so I don't know if you guys heard about Megan Thee Stallion and her suing her record label. I'm not gonna get too much into it because I, I, I wanna wrap this up, but I, I just wanna say, first of all, stop arguing about it. Everybody wants to be a Twitter lawyer. Everybody wants to say, oh, I can't believe she was so dumb. Hasn't she heard all the horror stories? Yeah, but unless you're actually in someone's situation, don't be so quick to say what you would and what you would not sign. And the girl said she read it. She just didn't understand the verbiage that was used in it at the time. And now that she's more educated, she wanted to renegotiate, which is fine. But if you knew at the time that you didn't understand the verbiage in the contract, maybe you should have took a pause, had somebody explain it more to you. Maybe she thought she did. Maybe her lawyers or whoever went over it with her was full of horse pucky and led her down the wrong road. Considering the fact she only got a $10,000 advance, allegedly, so I've heard, that should have been a red flag right there, Megan. You know, I hope that all works out well. Not that Megan will ever see this or hear this, but if she does, if you know her, tell her people, this is my advice, pass it along. Megan, Write out the contract. I, I, I get that you wanted to release your music and that's why you sued your record label because they wouldn't let you release your music because you wanted to negotiate. But in the court ruled in your favor this time to release your music on Friday, I'll, you know, congratulations on that win. But I would have to tell you to just swallow the pill, do what you have to do to finish out the contract and pay these people back and, and keep, so that they keep promoting you, so they keep releasing your music so you can make the revenue to pay them back and eventually get out of that contract and either get on another label or go independent if you want to. But you choosing to, to go up against this record label and battle them and risk tarnishing your reputation, having them blacklist you or drag in their ass to release your music it, you know it's only going to make it harder on you because what you don't want to do is put yourself in a position where they're not going to release your stuff because they're trying to punish you and then it's going to take you forever to make that money back to pay them and to get out of it so i would just have to say play ball you're very talented this is a lesson learned for everyone megan choose your battles wisely I know this was very irrelevant to the video, but I just see a lot of people arguing about it and calling her dumb. And then you have other people saying, well, you have Taylor Swift. Who had all the right resources to not get into a bad contract deal. And she was still in a bad contract deal. So what makes you think of Taylor Swift with the resources she had? If she was able to get into a bad contract, what makes you think somebody like Megan would have the resources to know the difference between a good and a bad contract and that is a very legitimate point because the point of it is anybody can be duped but come on guys it's 2020 we all know the, the result usually of signing with the major label some people get good deals but you have to really be educated and surround yourself with people who are not going to lead you astray with that being said megan also somebody tell our people Dang. Let broke people or uneducated people get in your ear and tell you how much you should be making and what kind of contract you should have. Because you've been with this label for enough time already to probably complain. So why now? I hope that it's not something where it's people in your ear telling you, girl, you should be making this. All that's on you got, you should renegotiate. Because what you don't want to do is don't want to let broke, uneducated people come and mess up your bag. Even if it's not the big bag that you deserve, it is a bag and it is a stepping stone. And you have a platform to get to the bigger bag. Don't let broke people and people who don't know what they're talking about get in your ear and telling you to go do all of this. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm not saying that anybody's in Megan's ear and I'm not saying that the people who are in her ear, I'm not saying that they're leading her astray. I'm just saying this is for everyone in general. You know, don't let people come with the yappity yap and the flipping of the jaw and, and, and listen to people who have what you want, if that makes sense. Not that people who don't have what you want don't have good advice. Also take your own path. But if it's something that you want in life, 
look at examples of people who have already conquered it. You, you, you don't get what I'm saying. Anyways. So I'm going to get off my soapbox. I'm going to go and enjoy my last day of being 28. Isn't that right, Frank? <laughs> all right, all right, then calm down. Anyways. Um, go ahead and come find me on all of my other uh, social media. Come find uh, Little Edward as well. His podcast is doing really well. So thank you guys for coming and listening to ER3. Thank you for coming and watching every freaking Wednesday. Come follow us on all of our other social media. We thank you. We love you. And we hope you enjoy the rest of eternity. All right, I'm going to go now. Peace out. Woo!